Sheikh Ibrahim Yaqub al Zekzeki. By now, we are all familiar with this name. However, as familiar as this name is, Sheikh Zekzeki remains mostly shrouded in misconception, government deception, and media propaganda. So many Africans, most especially Nigerians, don't know the worth of this gem of inestimable value. But our enemies know the enemy of African development and self reliance, the enemy of Africans, and that is why they are kept him incarcerated illegally and in clear violation of the court order and the rule of law. Here are five important quotes that not only Nigerians but Africa as a whole need to hear about what is happening on our continent from the great Nigerian activist Sheikh Ibrahim Zekzeki. But today, when they keep assassin assassins, they will not say they kill. England, France, Jamos, Inani, Belgium, Benin. I can't want assassins to come back assassins and all of them. Who got me? Kabila. I can't Kabila. May assassins go on and lose the baby. May Kabila so hard lose such a new joy. Here the Sheikh is talking about why most African leaders do not benefit their people at all except to steal national resources and send them to Europe. The Europeans did not stop them from bringing their wealth to their country because they were the ones who established the looting system. He made the speech seven years ago, but the Nigerian and the US government have yet to refute him. More than that, more and more information has surfaced and continued to surface to back and prove the point valid that terrorism has become a tool of decolonization, a tool to keep everyone distracted when the real looting is going on. <laughs> Every Nigerian, especially the Northern, knows that the Nigerian government is not serious about fighting the terrorists who are invading these areas, Sheikh Zekzeki mentioned, that the United States will come and invade with the help of the Nigerian government. We have already have statements from US military stating clearly that they are working with the Nigerian army to fight against insurgency, an insurgency that every Nigerian knows is being sponsored by the government. <laughs> He said in 2015 that the military and the DSS were carrying out terrorist attacks in Nigeria in the name of Boko Haram and militants bought to this day that they have failed to dispel it. Some believe that it was because of this statement that the Buhari government attacked him with the intention of killing him and eating him after they failed to do that from the world to hear his voice even though the court order for his release in 2016. <laughs> It is good for the masses to understand this statement very well because all the hardship we are currently facing are being ignored by the leaders and politicians who have turned the poor into slaves. This is what this great revolutionary figure has spent over 40 years struggling for and there is no discrimination in this cause. Muslims and Christians from all ethnic groups are welcome because together we can eradicate oppression and tyranny and ensure justice on earth. Nigerians should wake up and unite to support these activists in creating a nation and a system that will benefit the masses, not a system that is used to manipulate election and steal public resources and use greedy clerics to support the masses from resisting for their rights. It is time to unite to seize our right, end the poverty and misery inflicted upon us by these thieves of the state. We should put an end to the ongoing killing in our country.